morning, GMS. I'm Emma. And I'm Annika. And welcome to the GMS News Show for the week of April 18th. Greenwood is hosting another sports physical night this Thursday, April 21st from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the high school auxiliary gym. No registration is needed. Physicals are $20. Please visit the GMS homepage for more information. Students, please keep track of your grade through PowerSchool. If you see any assignments that may be incorrect, contact that teacher. They could help answer any questions that you may have. Please keep in mind that students with two or more Fs on their semester grades cannot participate or attend any extracurricular activities at GMS. Time is running out to order your school yearbook. The cost is $40. Get yourself one at yearbookforever.com. There is also a link on the GMS homepage. If you haven't purchased the yearbook yet, what are you waiting for? Students, please do not share usernames or passwords for any school device or school programs. Please do not share your locker combination. Thank you for your understanding. Now let's go to the interview of the week, top trending in the GMS sports update. Have a great week, everybody, and remember to stay safe. Welcome to sports, I'm Jackson. On Monday, April 18th, uh, we have boys golf at 4.45 p.m. at home. On Tuesday, April 19th, the sixth grade girls tennis at home starting at 5 p.m. Uh, track and field at 5 p.m. at home. On Wednesday, April 20th, a uh, boys golf away at 5 p.m. at Decatur Middle School, a uh, track and field at 5 p.m. at home. On Thursday, April 21st, we have boys golf at 4 p.m. at home, sixth grade girls tennis at 5 p.m. at home. That's all for sports. Okay, welcome to the GMS News Show interview of this week. I am Pranash and I'm, and I'm here with the GMS translator, Ms. Hubbard. Um, how are you doing today? Oh, I'm doing just fine. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Would you like to start by telling a little bit about yourself? Sure. I've been uh, working for the Greenwood School Corporation for more than 20 years. Um, I'm married. I have two daughters who are married and I have a, a little granddaughter who's two and a half years old. Oh, that's nice. Um, Question two, tell us a little bit about your job here at the GMS. Um, I work as a translator. I translate forms for teachers throughout the corporation, and I work with the ESL, English language learners, here at the corporation. And let me see what else. I help support them uh, with their English skills and support them in class with whatever they need. That's mm -hmm. interesting. What, what do you enjoy most about your job? I love working with uh, English language learners because they come from different countries and different cultures and I'm always learning from them. They're fascinating and very kind. <laughs> What's your favorite book you've ever read and why? Um, my favorite book is The Shining by Stephen King. I've always enjoyed reading ghost stories. Nice. Um, what do you like doing in your free time? I enjoy spending time with my family, reading, and taking walks. Um, thank you for coming on our show this week, Ms. Hubbard. Have a great week. You too. Thank you. Hello, I'm Carson, and welcome back to the top five and weird and wacky facts of the week. Let's get started with number one. The largest padlock in the world weighs 916 pounds. For 20 years, a cat named Stubbs served as a mayor in an Alaskan town named Talkeetna. Maybe they talked about that a little too much. Squirrels in the U.S. are reasoning behind most power outages in the U.S. One quarter of your bones in the body are located in your feet. And number five, Queen Elizabeth owns all of the swans in England. Man, I bet her daughter was a swan princess. Bye.